Hello all. Uh, a very good morning to one and all. So today we are going to deal with the strength and limitations of radio. As you all know, radio is an audio medium. It makes use of the uh, of our audio senses to communicate. So today we'll be discussing about the merits and demerits of radio. As you all know, every medium has its own limitations and advantages. So today we'll be discussing about the strength and limitations of radio. So firstly, I'll be dealing with the strength of radio. And the very first point is radio reaches messages to all people. That is people belonging to all walks of life. I mean, it can be illiterates, neoliterates and highly educated people simultaneously. A neoliterate is a person who uh, especially uh, these are people who belong to or who uh, lives in slums or some rural areas and who are not given proper education at the time they should receive that. And um, this may be uh, some elderly women or this may be an adult woman who, have, who might not have received education at the proper time. And uh, such people are known as neoliterates. And this radio reaches all the people. That is, irrespective of their education, irrespective of their gender, irrespective of their um, caste, creed, religion, etc. It reaches each and every person simultaneously. That means at the same time. That is the first strength of radio. So, uh, the second uh, very important strength of radio is that it is fairly affordable. That means it is easily accessible and very cheap. Compared to other medium of communication, this radio is cheap and accessible. So, uh, even though you are not uh, economically very strong or, uh, or financially very high, you can even buy radio. Even an economically weaker section can buy radio with uh, because it is very cheap. Okay, that is the second point. Moving on to the fourth point of the strength of radio. It has, um, it, it has the power to enliven the communication and often breaks the monotony of, uh, monotony of uh, a sound. That is, um, while listening to a talk or while listening, uh, there is a huge difference between listening a talk through a radio and listening a talk through a, an audio visual medium like television. Because you have the visual um, before you in a television and you don't have it in a radio. So there is a lot of difference between the two and when when a, a sort of music is being added it can really uh, give a life to the talk or life to the program which is being broadcast through the radio. That is uh, the, that point. Musical sound effects enlivens the communication and often breaks the monotony. It often breaks the monotony which is quite boring if you keep on um, saying something without any sort of music in your background. It gives a very monotonous thing and it is quite boring for all of us. Okay, that is the uh, fourth point. Moving on to the fifth point that is it has a capacity to deliver instantaneous messages instantaneous messages are very um, what do you say immediate messages or there is no sort of delay in communicating the messages through radio that is due to the advancement in the technology radio has reached uh, reached to such a point that its messages are quite instantaneous okay that is the fifth point Moving on to the sixth uh, point, which is a very important point. The radio does not require captivity. Uh, listeners can receive messages even when they are working. That is a very, very important strength of radio, where radio is supposed to be a very portable medium. You can take it wherever you go. Uh, you can uh, receive messages even when, when you are working. Farmers may listen to farm programs while working in fields, which is a very great advantage of radio. And a busy executive may listen to news bulletin even while driving. Or a housewife may even listen to her favorite program even while working in the kitchen. This is a very important strength of radio. And the seventh point is that it uh, does not require power line for operation. 
and uh, this is a great advantage for people who live in far flung villages or remote areas uh, where there is no power lines and uh, even uh, without power lines also they can receive radio messages because radio works on battery so uh, they don't need an electrical facility in order to receive the messages through radio this is a very important advantage for people in rural areas and the last point which is the eighth point once a, a transistor radio is purchased, messages flow constantly and no cost is involved for reception of messages. That is, uh, there is no cost being bad upon you. So these are the advantages of uh, radio or you can also call it as a strength of radio or the merits of radio. So moving on to the weakness of radio, we have the first point. Communication through radio lacks visual component. So... Um, it lacks, uh, since uh, you already know that it is an audio medium, it obviously lacks visual component. So the um, while you lack visual component, there is more of a chance that um, the messages are not uh, being reached properly to the listeners. That is, um, it has a, a difference that one um, in case of audio medium, it can just suggest things and in case of audio visual medium, it can really demonstrate things. That is, uh, the messages are uh, given to you through uh, television in a very proper way. That is, you can see what is happening there uh, with the help of uh, sound and uh, visuals. But in the case of radio, it can just suggest things. And it's up to you that it's up to your uh, innovative things or it's up to person that he uh, it's his own perception of things. That is the main difference there. And uh, one is just demonstrating. It is uh, demonstrating things and the other one is just suggesting things. So radio can only suggest things and it's up to you that you create your own mental pictures or your own perception on the messages given. And in the case of television where you have both the audio and the video and you it really gives you a demonstrated message. So you have the entire demonstration before you. That is the main difference there. And the second very important point is that which is very much similar to the first point. Spoken message is subject to interpretation of listeners according to their imagination, experience and predisposition. Uh, so this is uh, where uh, there is a chance of misinterpretation of messages. It is very much personal. That is, whenever you receive a message, it is up to you that how you perceive things. It's up to the person's um, imagination, experience and predisposition that I, um, I take things. Okay, it is not, it, we can't just generalize a message and give it to the uh, listeners. It is up to the listeners and it is up to the creativity and imagination of the listeners, they perceive things. So that, that is a very, very important weak point of radio. And the third point is that listeners need a lot of imagination and therefore understanding of messages depends largely on the characteristics of the receivers. That's very, very right because... Um, in the case of radio, uh, the listeners need to be uh, uh, more than imaginative. They need to be uh, very patient enough to uh, listen to the audio and create their own imaginary picture in the mind and uh, perceive the messages. Okay, it is a lot of, uh, it needs a lot of patience and it is a time consuming thing that you have to be away from all the disturbance surrounding you and then you have to concentrate more on the audio messages you are receiving so that you can create appropriate mental images and then relate it with the uh, sound you are hearing. Okay. And the fourth point is that communication is time limited and presents tiny fragments of topics. That is, uh, again, the same uh, point. That is, you need to have a um, lot of concentration while you are uh, listening to radio, unlike the other audio visual medium, because you need to be uh, really concentrating on what you're hearing. So our concentration level is also very low. So in order to get a very detailed message, you have to depend upon other medium like uh, television and uh, newspapers. So again, uh, that is a very important disadvantages of radio where uh, the messages are given in tiny fragments or uh, are given in a very limited time. Okay. And moving on to the fifth one, 
receivers cannot put off listening parts of messages for subsequent listening at their convenience that is you can't just uh, think that okay uh, let me uh, leave this message now and uh, i'll do some other work and come back and uh, continue with my listening uh, at another point of time it's not uh, going to be possible here because it is instantaneous so you have to really uh, put your mind into it and listen to it very patiently so that is a uh, greatest disadvantages of uh, radio medium so these are the uh, five disadvantages or weaknesses of radio hope you all enjoyed the lecture thank you thanks a lot